So in this video, I want to look at the general case. We have a block or a box on an inclined plane at an angle of theta. And the box is a rectangle is modelled as a rectangular lamina. It has a width of A meters and a height of B meters. It has a mass of M kilos. The surface is rough with a coefficient of friction of mu. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this situation where no other forces are at play and we're going to see uh, at what point the box will slide down the slope and at what point the box will uh, topple. So if we take a look first at uh, when it's going to slide down the slope, let's uh, add some forces onto our diagram here. So here we're going to have the weight acting through the centre, and that will be mg. And if I complete that right angle triangle, this angle will be theta. And so we're going to have mg cosine theta and mg sine theta. So I'll try and make sure they're on my diagram. So that's mg. This is mg sine theta and mg cosine theta. We're going to have a normal reaction force. I'm just going to label it there. So R. And we're going to have a frictional force, Fr, working up the slope. OK, so if I resolve forces, and let's go uh, and resolve forces perpendicular to the slope first, taking that direction as positive, we're going to have R take away the perpendicular component of the weight, so mg cosine theta, and that's going to be equal to 0. So R is mg cosine theta. Now, if we're on the point of moving, then we know that the friction is going to be equal to mu times r. So that means that the friction is going to be mu times mg cosine theta. Now, if we resolve parallel to the slope, I'm going to take down the slope as positive. We're going to have the mg sine theta. Take away the friction which is mu times mg cosine theta, and that's going to be equal to zero. OK, because we're not accelerating down the slope. Uh, we're on the point of moving. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to divide through by mg cosine theta, because I'll get tan theta take away mu is equal to zero. So mu is going to be equal to tan theta. And that is when the block is on the point of slipping down the slope. OK, so if uh, we inverse tan both sides, then theta would be arc tan of mu. And if theta is greater than arc tan of mu, then the block will slide down the slope. OK, right, now let's take a look at uh, taking moments uh, about this point here where it's going to topple. So we'll call this point A. And the key thing is, let me just uh, write it here. The key thing here is that that's going to be the point of contact. So the normal reaction force is just going to be on that corner. And what's also important about this is that we can consider that weight. Okay. And it's going to be going through that point of contact. Okay, so keep that in mind. So I'm going to take moments about point A. Now if it's on the point of toppling, the uh, total moment here will be zero. And what we need to do is, uh, well, if we look at the friction and the normal reaction force, they both, both go through A. So uh, we don't need to worry about those. So if I redraw my right angle triangle so that it is now looking like this, 
So this is your mg sine theta, and that is your mg cosine theta. Then, first of all, let's look at the mg cosine theta, that component of the weight. We are a over 2 away from it, and it's going to be going around in a clockwise motion. So we're going to have minus a over 2 times mg cosine theta. Now, as for the mg sine theta, okay, then you can think of it as going from that point. Remember, it's projecting through that point, And so we'll be over 2 away from it. And that's going to be going around in an anti-clockwise motion. So that will be positive. So plus b over 2 times mg sine theta. And that's got to be equal to 0. So if we divide through by mg cosine theta, just like we did before, we'll get minus a over 2 plus b over 2 tan of theta is equal to 0. If we multiply through by 2, um, and let's add a to both sides after that, so we'll have b tan theta equals a. So tan theta will be equal to a over b. So we've got mu is equal to tan theta when it's on the point of slipping, and we've got tan theta is equal to a over b when we're on the point of toppling. So let's uh, continue on the notation the same way. So therefore, uh, theta would be equal to arc tan of a over b. So if theta is greater than arc tan of a over b, then uh, the block will be on the point of toppling. So this is for slipping, and that is toppling. Okay, and what's important about it is that uh, the box will topple if the line of action from the center uh, of mass passes through the lowest corner. Okay, and that will occur when theta is arctan of A over B.